The images recorded by NASA's MLSO space probe, at 4.55 pm on May 11, 2021, revealed the presence of a huge object next to the Sun, precisely in the area of the solar chromosphere. The huge object, larger than the Earth's mass, was circular in shape and seemed to be attached to the Sun as if it were sucking energy from the star. To date, NASA has not provided explanations regarding the presence of the mysterious and huge celestial body and there are still many questions that cannot be answered. NASA scientists who follow the MLSO and SOHO missions still do not know how to interpret the presence of this huge planetary object. Some speak of vortices of solar plasma, but for now, no one has given a credible version on the presence of this spherical space object of enormous dimensions. It is known in the scientific field that the Sun produces particles of antimatter thanks to solar flares. The discovery, presented at the annual Congress of the American Society of Astronomy, is due to the research group of the American New Jersey Institute of Technology. The Sun allows us to study on a large scale a plasma composed of matter and antimatter that cannot be produced in terrestrial laboratories but which in this circumstance is used by extraterrestrial spaceships is a propellant. Physicist Bob Lazar who worked at the super-secret Area 51 facility also stated that antimatter, colliding with normal particles, creates a huge explosion of energy, which can be used for propulsion. It is very likely that, for example, element 115, it could also be the famous exotic matter, warp drive, needed to create traversable wormholes. This experiment is also mentioned in a recent U.S. Defense Intelligence document. Here are the many sightings of extraterrestrial spaceships near the Sun. I also remember that, almost once a week, a singularity occurs, that is a black hole, wormhole, on the Sun. Extraterrestrial civilizations that want an advanced access in our solar system, with black holes as large as the Earth can do it through the stargate of our Sun.